This is a course on the mathematics behind electric motors. The world of electric motors is made of diverse kinds of motors. Two kinds of motors are DC motors and three-phase asynchronous motors. The two kinds of motors that we will analyze mathematically. We will derive the fundamental equations of these two motors and I will also explain some mathematical and physical intuition behind this type of motors. At the moment of this video I've analyzed DC motors and three-phase asynchronous motors, but nothing will prevent me from adding additional material in the future, for example on synchronous motors or maybe even the control of this type of motors. Consider for example a three-phase asynchronous motor. We will show how to derive this curve which is related to the torque with respect to the angular frequency and this angular frequency here is related to the velocity of the motor, namely the dynamics of the motor itself. We will show how to derive this curve and also the meaning of this curve. Omega S here, for example, is the electrical frequency in the stator, the frequency of the currents in the stator. And we will see that. We will do something similar also for the DC motor, but the three-phase asynchronous motor is more complicated. And these type of curves are very recurrent in practical applications. So it might be very interesting to understand the mathematics behind this type of motors. Let me show you another example of why these motors are complicated. This expression here is the mathematical formula for the total magnetic field that we have in a three-phase asynchronous motor that we have in the air gap and we'll also talk about the air gap between the stator and the rotor and this field is produced by the coils of the stator in a three-phase asynchronous motor. We can see that this field depends on different parameters. The number of conductors per phase in the stator, the number of conductors per phase in the rotor, the currents that we have in the rotor and in the stator and these currents here are represented by means of vectors. These two here are not simply two currents IS and IR, but each of these two symbols contains the information about the three phases of the stator and of the rotor. Therefore, we have three currents in the stator and three currents in the rotor. Then there is also P, which is a parameter related to the number of pairs of poles that we have in the motor, and I will talk about the poles of the rotor. Therefore, this course will be mathematical because it will show you the equations related to these motors, but we are talking about an engineering subject after all. Therefore, in here, you are also encouraged to develop physical intuition for practical applications.